Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today I am going to do a comparison. Someone had asked me to do this between Floetrol and Oetrol Easy Flow or Oetrol Floetrol. It's the European version and it is available on Amazon. Otherwise, it's not available in the U.S. I decided I would use Arteza, the 60 count colors, and I've picked six or five colors that I'm going to use today. Carmine Red, Deep Yellow, Mars Black, Pearl Deep Brown, and Orange Red. I wanted a warm toned earthy kind of pour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, try to put the same amounts in all five cups and then use Floetrol in one side and Oetrol in the other and of course I'm going to have to add water because two paint always requires you to add water and my typical ratio is one to one and I need 20 ounces for four canvases that I'm going to do the experiment on. So I need basically two ounces of paint mixture in each cup. These tubes are 0.74 ounces. So I'm going to maybe use about, I'm going to try to get it as equal as possible. I'll use the whole tube and just split it up between the two cups. So I weighed the uh, colors out in the cups and I put the exact amounts of Floetrol to Oetrol. So I'm going to mix them up and then we'll go from there. I got two 10 inch canvases and it takes about three ounces to cover the canvas. I want to have about five ounces. So that means half of the paint mixture that's in each cup. And the first technique I'm going to do is a tree ring. I want contrast. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to do it in this order. I'm going to try to use about half of the cup. Again, this is Floetrol versus Oetrol. I had to add more water to the Oetrol because it is still much thicker than the Floetrol. So if you can see, there's a slight mound that lands on the surface of the paint. Floetrol, it dissipates a little faster. And that's still with more water in the Oetrol, but it's still thicker. Just pouring the two out onto a 10 inch canvas, you see how much faster the Floetrol has spread compared to the Oetrol. 
I am gonna pop air bubbles. Comparison wise right now, I can't say there's a whole lot of difference because it's all in how you tilt it, that kind of thing. I feel like this is a heavier coverage because it's thicker. It always, Oatrol always is thicker consistency when you're using it to pour. So I um, had that brown pearl, which I did not even use half of that cup. It really, really took over because it was the first thing in the cup. So it took over the painting, which is okay. It's still a pretty background and I might paint some uh, artwork on top of it and make it a set of something. It'd be beautiful with like yellow flowers or something like that. So I'll show you up close. I don't think either one did any better than the other as far as the looks of it goes. It's just I tilted this one different so there's more of the striations showing. So there's the flow troll. And here's the elbow troll, which, you know, it looks different because of the way I tilted it. still nice and flat and smooth. A few more, um, when I hit it with the heat torch, a few more dots popped up. If you can see those, a few more dots, but other than that, not a whole lot of difference. Okay, so we're going to use the same cups and what I'm going to do now For you is add one drop of OGX coconut milk. So I have it in a dropper bottle just to make it easier to do this. So what I'm going to do is the four colors but not the black. One drop in each of those. Just to show you the difference. Let's just start with yellow. Because these aren't, these are still thick, so because they're thicker, they're not like sinking down like typical, the typical um, consistency of my paint. Because I just wanted to I keep it as close to the same as possible. Just till they're both about the same in the cups. They're both equal, okay? Two 10 inch canvases. But 
poke a hole just to release the air. So that's just OGX sitting. I haven't put a torch to it or anything. I will just to pop bubbles. But basically, with OGX, you don't need the torch because you get cells regardless. So I'm going to tilt these. Sometimes your color choices too can make all the difference in the world and the success of a pour. Like these colors may have just been not the right color combination choice. The brown has muddied everything up for sure. Well, it's not brown, it's it's really a metallic. The yellow is quite odd, even though it's pretty in the tree ring pour, it's odd in this one. And see, I'm not an orange fan at all, typically. So, huge cells because of the OGX, which always produces huge cells. They're different from the silicone cells, for sure. So there is the flow troll. This is definitely a Halloween one, for sure. These would be great. You know, Halloween pours with pumpkins painted on them or something, you know? Sometimes you just got to take advantage of what you've got with your canvas that's left in the background. If it's not a beautiful pour then you I do artwork on it. Now if you add something and you want it to look more organic, just take your straw. Break it up a little bit. And then that way the cells will form naturally. And they're going to be smaller cells because they weren't stretched out like these were from the original cells. So there is going to be that difference. Oatrol versus Oatrol. I will wait till these are totally try, dried, take pictures to compare, and then uh, you'll see the dried pictures at the end of the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. I have always kind of said that I feel like Oatrol is a better quality, but it is more expensive. But I know Floatrol is a little bit hard to get, so you might be able to get the Oatrol on Amazon. It's in my link below the video. So check it out. The Arteza paints are some of my favorite paints. They're very vivid. I love how they work in acrylic pores very much. So, so I'm a big fan of the uh, Arteza paints, especially the metallics. They are gorgeous. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Here are the dry results. The first was the tree ring, and it did dry significantly darker, which is always pretty much the case uh, with fluid art. Now, when you put a nice shiny gloss varnish on it, it will bring it back out. And I wanted to show you, this is the Floetrol version.
This is the Eletrol. And um, what I can say about the finish, I don't know if you can tell, this one here, the Avatar, which was heavier, has a little bit more of a gloss finish in it. I got my finger sticking through here. You can see a little bit more of the texture on the Floetrol. It's a little thicker finish on the uh, trowel on this one. So I think these will be some great backgrounds to possibly do something artwork wise on top of and um, embellish them and then put a gloss varnish. These are the ones that had the OGX added and this one is pretty much dried. Um, this one with the flow trowel is still a little bit wet. See that shiny area. <clears throat> so, um, you know, the colors were a little bit more vibrant, I guess, in this one. Again, the finish is a little smoother, more satiny looking on the Eletrol side, but Comparing apples to oranges, they're pretty comparable, except for the little bit more sheen on this one. And the other thing is I have a lot of uh, residue on this from the OGX, which typically you don't see a lot of that. So, you know, when people ask, do they need to clean their canvases, this is why. You see those oily spots? That has to go and you clean it with Dawn dish liquid once it's thoroughly dried and cured and uh, soap it up and wash it down, let it dry really well and then you can spray it or I like to use Liquitex high gloss varnish. So these are the two dirty pours. So there you have it.